I measured it at zero degrees exactly. So it's just going to get hoisted up back in. The main difference now is that's 20 horsepower. It was seven and a half. So as long as the belts and chains hold up, it's ought to work. like an unbalanced washing machine while it's trying to spin. Let me take a look in there. Yeah, that's the issue. It, would, it wasn't getting grabbed by the teeth anymore. It's just bouncing around. I'll take a look in here again. Definitely got some polarized pulp. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it took chunks off. It took yeah, but, but look at that big. But that big chunk is not pumpable. I don't think. Yeah. Oh god. It smells like banana. It is. It, is banana. it should. Make the banana split. <laughs> Those are still just hard piece. Well, they compress a bit. I can make a ball out of that, but this is yeah, Johnny. This is something that I can't really even break. Well, there it goes in the corner. I don't know. Now we have had customers that have a catch basin like this that is jacketed. So it's like uh, kind of like a double boiler, really. They run hot water uh, around the outside of it, so that what is in here melts or softens. That's what was bouncing around inside there. So the issue was we couldn't get it, it didn't gum up, but we couldn't get it to stay down where the drums were. The drums are too close together to, to, to kind of pull it in. Although I was, and you see where the teeth were trying to grab it, but they just weren't having any luck. They weren't pulling it in. There's one, one tooth got it right there. So if another had gone in behind it, it probably would have finished it, but I don't know. I, I don't, after what I saw the machine doing and I heard more belts, they didn't break apparently, although we haven't taken the cover off to look yet. And looking at this, all I can say is I'll, I'll leave it to you how interested you are in, in going forward. It, uh, I think we got part of the way there. Not sure if we got all the way there. 